Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Tim, did did Chase get it right? What and what is your perspective on seeing the film now, not only a year later, but but having gone through it personally, seeing it from the camera's point of view? Um, I mean, he got everything. He got everything right, just how it was. And I think that was the cool part um, about it is he really did tell the story how it happened and from beginning to end. And like he was saying, it was amazing because, you know, all the great shots that he got were like the real shots that we used. Like when he was there filming the Broncos or, you know, he was, you know, traveling with, with us the first time we went to Denver and just happened to be where I got drafted. And so, so many of the shots that he got that were the best ones were, you know, the ones that, that he traveled so hard and went the extra mile to get. And I also think that's why it turned out to be a great documentary is because him and Matt and Tony, you know, they worked so hard and they had to stay up late, they had to get up early. You know, every day I would get up, you know, at 5.30 or something and they would meet me at the car at 5.45 and we'd get there at six and they would be all groggy and still <laughs> trying to film. And so then they would film me all day working out, going through everything, just hoping, you know, some of that could be used and some of it would be the great footage. And then, you know, I would get home, whatever, 9, 10, 11 at night, and I would go to sleep, get up, and do the same thing the next day. But they would have to go, and they'd have to download it all. They would have to go through everything, cut it up. And then plus, I would put more work on them because I would be like, hey, let me see all the drop, the three-step drops I did. Let me get a cut up of the seven-step <laughs> drops so I could go back and look at myself to study myself and... And even for like workouts, I'd be like, all right, pause, pause. Chase, let me see the camera. And go back three plays and, and let me see my drop there. No, my feet aren't wide enough. So then I'd go do it again and do the drop. And, and then I'd say, Chase, let me see it. And so then he'd be all the way in the back and he'll run up and, and show me and then he'd go back. And so I think the, the biggest reason why I was so successful is because everyone at Fiction, including Chase, worked so hard at what they did and they took so much pride every day. Um, with finding that great shot and getting up early and staying there and even when they got tired and even when they couldn't hold their shoulders up anymore, uh, you know, they kept working and I think that's always a great character quality to have.